yes! Oh yes, second cousins! That's four in a row for the Orlando Magic. A big win against the Toronto Raptors. It feels big on Magic Twitter, baby. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Going into this game, I, you know, this seems like a good matchup for us, right? They got OG, they got Scotty, they got Pascal, they got some height coming off the bench, some length coming off the bench. So you're thinking, all right, you know, this is a team that can play physical, that can play with us, similar styles. I want to see how we measure up against this measuring stick. And boy, did we just knock it out the park. Called our shot, man. Unbelievable. You know, the wins against the Bulls, the Bulls are a little bit of disarray. I don't like how we let them back in the game each time. I, I, I wasn't putting those in our pocket as really super quality wins. Man, making a statement against the Pacers. And tonight, for your boy Kyle's birthday, baby. That's right. Giving myself a round of applause. Typical only child syndrome. The Magic Deliver on the Red Lettuce's birthday. Yes. And there's nowhere I'd rather be than with you, second cousins. Yes, basking in the glory of this victory. Jalen Suggs is fucking awesome. Are we serious? This guy's like out of a cannon. Every single game. Loved it. I mean, early on, he went coast to coast. Then he knocks down a three, gets that steal around Pascal Siakam when there's a mismatch down low. Just looked like a cornerback out there. Going crazy, getting deflections all over the place. I think he only ended up with how many steals? Three. Oh, no, that's the wrong person. Two steals. But you just you feel the intensity. The pressure is always there. He ends with 18 points, three boards, four assists, and again, those two steals. But man, Jalen right now, he leads the league in loose balls recovered. And he's fifth in the league in deflections per game. So let's start having those defensive team conversations, shall we? Come on now. If Marcus Smart can win an MVP, uh, defensive player of the year, was that last year? Was that two years ago? Last year? Two years ago. Two years ago. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Jalen Suggs has got to be in conversations for defensive player of the year. And he is playing with a tenacity and a heart that fans just love to see. You love to see guys going 100 miles an hour uh, on, on the floor. If Peach were here, he would say that he should be you know, sponsored by a broom company the way he's always on the floor, sweeping things up. Just love what Jalen Suggs is bringing. This is the ascension of Jalen Suggs, ladies and gentlemen. Much more efficient. He's doing better things with the ball. Even his turnovers, it's like he had a rocket pass to Goga. It's like, well, if Goga would have caught that, he would have been right there. Not as, not as crazy with the ball. Only two turnovers. Six of ten from the field. Two of four from beyond the arc. Don't look now, ladies and gentlemen. Jalen Suggs is, is the real deal. And I think we knew that probably in the Magic community. We knew that. Boy, Dylan Hol Holden knew that. All right? But I think he's really starting to come alive as people are starting to play these teams. And out of nowhere, I mean, probably for their fan bases, seeing a guy like Jalen Suggs and what he's doing. Because a lot of people had written him off after he was, you know, the number five overall pick and high hopes coming in. And he faltered out of the gate. He was in, he's been injured. He's been injured. And now he's finally... Hitting his stride. You love to see it. Jalen Suggs, baby. There's one more thing I wanted to say about Jalen Suggs, but I completely forgot. And we move on. Paulo. Paulo's starting to get hot, right? I've expressed I was a little bit anxious about him playing with uh, you know, USA out of position. He remembers his position now, baby. That score in that rock. 25 points tonight. Five boards, three assists. 39% from three on the year, which is coming into this year, an anxiety I'll, I'll admittedly I had, you know, if he wants to become that elite level scorer, got to do it at all three levels. Didn't get to the line tonight, but still ended with 25. Just a bucket, man. And tough. 
I love Paolo because he's not one that he gets to the line, although only three free throw attempts tonight. He gets to the line, but he's not those dudes looking for the contact. Just just to get the whistle. And and by the way, speaking of trying to just look for the whistle, can we please the Emmy goes to hold on, hold on. For late night drama television program. The Toronto Raptors, the whole team. Bring them on up. Bring them on up. Ridiculous. OG with the tech just throwing and just spread eagle on, on the on the sideline. He's looking like my favorite porn hub actor out there. Out on the sideline. Ridiculous. Sir, put your thighs together. What else? There's another one. OG, so the OG flop. Barnes flop. I mean, did he make contact, referees? Did he? Because you reviewed it, and and we looked at it too, and it looked like there was zero contact with that hand, that forearm to the face, and Barnes just kind of, ah, as if he'd been smacked upside the head. You know who doesn't do that? Paulo Bancaro. Our boy's rocking a shiner. Just casual, lunch pail type of dude. All right, he's not looking for the calls. He didn't even really get them tonight. Probably could have gotten to the line, or should have gotten to the line a few more times. Just three free throws for the man, the myth, the legend. MVP chance starting in the arena. Love to see it. A lot of MVPs, it feels like, on this team. And any giving night, it can be a different guy. And that's why this team is so damn hard to bet on, number one. Fucking hard. But number two, so easy to root for. You don't know who it's going to be. All right, Paulo's starting to establish himself as the guy, but we got Franz Wagner, Jalen Suggs now coming up. A man, I need to make an apology to Moritz Wagner. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm sorry you had to take down your countrymen tonight. This must not be easy, no. But Dennis Schroeder, as much as we love you on the team, the national squad, you ate your snitchel tonight. Yes, you did. We love, you know, in the magic community, I don't know if you're like me, but I got a soft spot in my heart for Dennis Schroeder. Love what he, you know, the leadership he brings to that German team and rooting for Moritz and Franz this summer. Just glad we got the win. But he played very well. Best player on the floor for them tonight. 24 points, 8 of 13 from the floor, 4 of 4 from beyond the arc. Didn't even realize that till now. Dennis Schroeder, you get to honorable mention, sir. Yes. But, yeah, I need to apologize to Moritz. He's been fantastic. He has been fantastic. It, I mean, the statistic, David Steele and Jeff were talking about more. It's in the, is this anything tonight? By the way, thumbs down on the music change, okay? I like the horns. I want the horns back. I don't know if you were listening. What do you think about the new music? I want the old horns back. I like it. It brought more energy, okay? Just, you know, just my two cents. Not being negative. Not being negative. You know I'll roll with it, David. You're the king. We love you. Is this anything? Amazing. Best duo on the sideline, hands down. But I didn't like the music. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Moritz, they said, was like, he's like top three in, if you if it's like per 36 minutes, in effective field goal percentage and field goal percentage. That, like, of guys that get less than 20 minutes a game. You love to see that. Like, he, or of less the guys getting less than 20 minutes, he's one of the top scorers, and he's leading the league in field goal percentage and effective field goal percentage. He's up there. Like, yes, yes, Moritz. And the big anxiety that I had with Moritz, and, and honestly, just like the team in general, is rebounding. I love what Moritz brings on the offensive side of the ball. Never really doubted him there, but always just was looking for different things from my, from my big man. I needed some big man shit. Peach would be with me on this. Just a guy that can set a good pick, crash the boards, but Morris can do a lot on offense that people have to respect, and he's always getting under people's skin, man. And you just love a guy like that, an exacerbator. Don't say that three times fast. Man, we worked him. 25 more shots from the field than them. Could have been, could have been even a bigger lead. Um, on the boards tonight, it wasn't a problem. We won 40-38, to 38, and offensive rebounds 15. That is such a rare sight for this team, and holy shit if it continues. We've always had the little guys crashing the boards, but we've had some difficulty you know, keeping 
opponents' bigs off the boards and, and getting offensive rebounds. Hey, Toronto's a pretty big team. I don't know where they rank in rebounding in the league, but they got some guys. They got some length. So kudos to you, Moritz. Kudos to everyone who was crashing the boards. Well done tonight, gentlemen, in winning that factor. Also, let's see here. Points in the paint is the other thing I love to look at. Did we win the boards? Did we win the points in the paint? If we did by a decent margin, we're probably winning the game. And tonight, 68 to, th to 36 points in the paint. Almost 32 more points than they did. I mean, that's the game right there. That's where we feasted. And then, yeah, we're spraying out. 14 to 20 from beyond the arc. Great. Great. 38.7%. Love it. What else we got here? What else we got here? Don't let me forget about Cole. Cole, I see you. I love you. I haven't forgotten about you. Cole Anthony with a double-double. 10 points, 10 assists. He was wheeling and dealing out there. I mean, Cole, that's, that's a great contract, right? We love three, two year team option, third year average annual value, 13 million. Fantastic flexibility. I think it values Cole Anthony at the, what is the, the minimal? Um, I apologize. Brain fart. The it's very similar to a contract that a the mid-level exception thank you there it was um so just great that's what we value him as a high level rotational player that's what he's playing as fantastic well done cole just just great great team win and and it's a statement win like these are teams that are in our area in the eastern conference right Indiana was the best offensive team in the league going into that game. That's real. Like, there, Tyrese Halliburton is legit. He's going to be an all-star again. We stuffed them. Held them to nothing. To hell, yeah. This team, we could have held to under 100 points if we would have kept the starters in. And, and they're a team that's, they're, you know, they're going to say they're not rebuilding, they're retooling, right? Because they still got Siakam. They got OG, who's a little bit further along. Um, they got some veterans on the end of the bench. I mean, if you're like me, you're thinking going in this game, oh, no, it's going to be the Otto Porter Jr. revenge game, right? You got to have that on your mind, Magic fans. But it wasn't. No, no. None for you. None for you. So, all around great team win. If we care, which I'm still unsure if we do, I'm looking at it. You know, people are talking about it. So, I'm intrigued. What does this do for the in-season tournament? I believe now we're two and one. The Hawks are two and one, and the Celtics are three and oh, something like that in the division. I do know that entering tonight's game, we had a minus 14 point differential. And so that means we leave it with plus five, if that matters, if anyone cares. It doesn't appear that the coach cares, right? Because both sides, it was a backup match. So. The, the in-season tournament hasn't done enough to get coaches throwing some of the etiquette rules of the NBA aside or wanting to really put the foot down on the juggler. Saw some Chuma minutes, saw some Caleb Houston minutes, Schofield, the Admiral, salute to you coming in. Great team win. We got a good test coming up, though. All right? These are two of the top teams in the league. Denver Nuggets tomorrow evening, one of the greatest party nights of the year. I'm going to keep it moving. Birthday weekend all the way through. You know, I'm a teacher. I'm off, so I'm just carrying the party right on through. And then on Friday, having some buddies over, going to nerd out and play some games and have some beers and watch us take down the wicked good Boston Celtics kid. Spend some time in Boston. That would be a nice victory to get. If we get one of these two, Wow, we're in a good spot. I mean, we already are, right? We're in a fantastic spot. We're fifth place in the Eastern Conference. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. What did I miss? I mean, there's so much to talk about. Let me know in the comments. I love you, Second Cousins. Peach and I are shooting an episode uh, of Court Cousins, hopefully Saturday. So look out for that. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Peace out. Love ya. Let's go magic, baby.